Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up email autoresponders. So an example of how you can use this is if you were out of the office for maybe two weeks, if someone emailed you, you could set up an autoresponder to respond to them saying that you won't be back for another two weeks. But anyway, let's just get right into it. So first of all, come to your cPanel right here, and then under email, go down to autoresponders. Once we're here, make sure you manage your correct domain, mine being strangestand.xyz. As it is my only domain, it will just default back to all domains. Then we're simply just going to click add autoresponder. So first of all, the interval. So there is a little description down here, the number of hours to wait between responses to the same email address, or zero to always respond. So if someone emailed you multiple times, let's say they emailed you five times within an hour, it would reply to the first one automatically, but then if you set the interval to two hours, all of the other emails that they sent you within that hour, they would get no response. But if they sent you one later in the day, let's say three hours later, they would still get a response. Or you can set it to zero, and that means they get a response every single time they email you. So for this example, I'm going to set mine to zero. So then for this email part, you're simply going to put in the start of your email before the at. So the email that I want to respond to this person with is contact at strangestand.xyz. So before the at was just contact. So simply put that in and there we go. Then the domain, make sure that you've selected the correct one. And for from, this will be the name that the email uses. So I've put it as Stanley Pebble Host. And then for subject, of course, this is gonna be the email subject. So you could, for example, put temporarily out of office. And then of course, for the body text, this is your main part of the email. You can also add these things at the top, where it'll be percent subject percent, percent from percent, and percent email percent. So if I put in the body text, hi, and then percent from percent, the email that they'll see will be hi and then their name. Also, if you do wish to use HTML in the body, you can simply just check this on. So just as an example here, I have put hi and then from, I'm currently out of my office on vacation. I will be back on the 24th of March. So that is my body text done. So then finally, at the very bottom, we have start and stop. So if you put immediately for start, this autoresponder will go into effect immediately. However, if you set it to custom, you can set it so that it goes active the day you actually leave. So let's say you went on holiday on the 17th. You could simply just set it as the 17th and this autoresponder won't autorespond to any emails until it is the 17th. And then for stop, of course, if you never want it to stop, simply click never. But if you get home on let's say the 29th if you simply just select the 29th the autoresponder will stop autoresponding on that day but for this example i'm going to pick never and immediately so let's go ahead and click create so now we've made our autoresponder you can only have one autoresponder per email account so now you can see current autoresponders email contact at strange standard xyz subject is temporarily out of office and of course we know the rest so now let's go ahead and test this out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and send that an email. And you can see back on our email, we actually did get a response. And you can see it's formatted exactly how I wanted it to. So you can see the subject is temporarily out of office. The name is Stanley Pebblehost. And the email that it came from is contact at strangestand.xyz. And then we can see it says hi, and then Stanley, which is my email account's name, and then my entire email along here. I'm currently out of my office on vacation. I'll be back on the 24th of March. So that is exactly how we worded it. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time.